The barred owl is a powerful vocalist with an array of calls that are considered fantastic, loud and emphatic. Calls probably carry well over 0.8 km. Its usual call is a series of 8 accented hoots or the typical two phrase hoots with a downward pitch at the end. Due to its best known call, the barred owl is sometimes clonically referred to as an old eight hooter. Another call type is the mumble, a grumbling slur and subtle and up and down tweeter calls at high pitch. When agitated, this species will make a busy rasping hiss about three times in three seconds, repeating every 10 to 30 seconds and will click its beak together forcefully. The voice of the two sexes is similar, but the female has a higher pitched voice with longer terminal notes. While calls are most common at night, the birds do call during the day as well, especially when provoked by the human's playback or imitations. They are more responsive than any hawk in the east to play back of the calls of their own species. The barred owl is noisy in most season, but peak vocalization time for barred owls tend to be between late January and early April. Two seasonal peaks in vocalization, one right before breeding and another after the young have dispersed, with peak vocalization or nights with extensive cloud cover. Peak times for vocalizations are between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., with the least frequent vocalization around mid-afternoon. The barred owl, also known as the northern barred owl, striped owl, or more informally, hoot owl, is a North American large species of owl. A member of the true owl family, Strichidae, barred owls are largely native to eastern North America but have expanded their range to the west coast of North America where they are considered invasive. Their diet consists mainly of small mammals but this species is an opportunistic predator and is known to prey upon other small vertebrates such as birds, reptiles and amphibians as well as a variety of invertebrates. Barred owls are brown to gray overall with dark stripping on the underside. Barred owls have typical nesting habitat for a true owl, tending to raise a relatively small brood often in a 
tree hollow or snag, but sometimes also in other nesting sites in forested areas. As a result of the barred owl's westward expansion, the species has begun to encroach on the range of the related and threatened spotted owl. Evidence shows the assorted threats posed by the invading barred species are only increasing. In response, biologists have recommended culling operation to mitigate the negative effects of the barred owl on the spotted owl species. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.